Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Sunday Book Review for April for 2021, the opening day edition. And today we have books uh, courtesy of John Williams at the New York Times. The 2020 baseball season was shortened due to COVID-19, but baseball is certainly used to some oddities. So we're going to talk about books about that today. So we start off with perhaps one of the greatest autobiographies in baseball, Vec as in Rec, the autobiography of Bill Vec. Bill Beck was an inspired team builder, a consummate showman, and one of the great baseball men ever involved in the game. His classic autobiography, written with Ed Lynn, is an uproarious book packed with information about the history and tales of baseball players, owners, including some of the most entertaining stories in all of sports literature. If you want to go in a little bit different direction, how about Doc Ellis in the Country of Baseball by Donald A. Hall? Doc Ellis once pitched the game while uh, on LSD. And if you don't think that's uh, flamboyant enough, this book recounts the life and career of the controversial black pitcher, tracing his sometimes outrageous behavior from Los Angeles childhood through eight seasons with Pittsburgh to uh, his time with the New York Yankees. Doc Ellis, one of the great characters in baseball. Uh, next up, 59 and 84 by Ed Ackern. In 19, excuse me, in 1884, Providence Gray's pitcher Old Hoss Radburn won an astounding 59 games, more than anyone in Major League before or after. He went on to win three games of baseball's first World Series. 59 and 84 tells this dramatic story, but also of baseball's first two decades after the Civil War, its formative time in America. It tells the story of the women Radburn loved and how this wonderfully entertaining tale of a player, an era, and really the start of the craze for baseball. And finally, we end with Crazy 08, how a cast of cranks, rogues, boneheads, and magnets created the greatest year in baseball history. From the perspective of the 21st century, the unintentional irony is questionable. In 1908, though, no one laughed. The Cubs then were baseball's greatest team, the first dynasty of the 20th century. Crazy 08 recounts that year when the peerless leader Frank Chance went toe-to-toe with John McGraw and Christy Mathewson of the New York Giants and Honus Wagner's Pittsburgh Pirates in the greatest pennant race the NL had ever seen. The AL had a three-cornered fight as well with Cy Young, Ty Cobb, Walter Johnson, and the egregious crooked Hal Chase ensuring that the junior circuit, as it used to be called, had its moments. It's not just a story of a great season. It focuses on the forces that changed Major League Baseball and the America that prevented it. Fans regularly invade the uh, field to do handstands or argue with the umps or otherwise take liberties that are not allowed today. One of the uh, filmiest, on the flimsiest pretexts, General Abner Doubleday becomes a symbol of Americanism and baseball's own anthem, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. 1908 is a season with so many weird and wonderful things that it is unsurprising that a hairpiece, a swarm of gnats, and a sun battle of lumbago, all disasters play roles. And yes, until 2016, it was the last time the Cubs won the World Series. So that literally makes it worth it on its own. I hope you will enjoy these books. I hope you've enjoyed opening day weekend. And I will note for the record that the Houston Astros are 3-0, and and there's no evidence of cheating. So Adam Turtletob, sorry. But I hope you enjoyed this baseball season. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it will be much better than uh, what we had last season. Last season was a great pennant race. We have several new podcasts on the Compliance Podcast Network. I would urge you to check out Mo Forecast, the podcast from the Morrison Forrester Law Firm, hosted by James Kukios. We have Coffee and Regs by CSS, which takes a look at RegTech, which premiered this past week. In April on The Compliance Life, we feature Jason Kellerman, partner at Stone Turn. 
Jason comes from a family of doctors, so he's always been interested in healthcare, but he's been in the healthcare consulting side doing work at consulting companies, as a CCO at Allergan, and now at Stone Turn. Check it out this month. ComTech, a podcast on the intersection of compliance and technology, big brains in compliance. And finally, we have the Compliance Handbook, where I take a deep dive exploration into topics related to the nuts and bolts of compliance. Thanks so much for listening.